Hi, this is Matt, and on today's Matt's World DIY, you may recall I took an IKEA Calyx unit and made a kitchen island out of it. Well, the makeshift countertop is not working, so I'm changing it into this, a real countertop. The material that I had used for the makeshift countertop was from Ikea and it's a laminate top and it would have been fine, but I wanted something that looked like marble. So I put this contact paper on it, but if it gets hot, it's not going to work. So I'm going to have to lift this old one off. You may recall that I used liquid nails to stick this countertop on and it should have held, but boy, it really didn't. It lifts just so easily. So I'm pulling off this old countertop, old, which is just a few weeks old, and then I'm removing the cardboard that was adhered with liquid nails. Should have held better, but it just, it did not live up to my expectations. So now I'm just removing any residual stuff before I bring in the new countertop. It's an actually real countertop from Ikea, and it uh, has the faux marble look and it is beautiful. I am so impressed. It comes with some strips that if you have to cut it to size, you can adhere that to the ends and also an instruction manual. And here I'm also removing the box. Now the next step is I of course have to clean things and I'm checking all the edges to make sure everything looks fine and it does. I'm measuring it out to see how much overhang I'm going to need for each side. As I've made my decision, I'm double checking that it's square all the way around. I'm going to attach this with some L brackets that I had when I was assembling my new kitchen that I put together. And I have screws and enough brackets left over. So now on the underside, I'm double checking after I put my first screw in before I make my commitment and everything looks good. So I'm just putting in the screws. I've attached one L bracket to each end and then three to each of the long sides. It looks really good. Whoa, <laughs> it looks really good. And so here I am, I'm wrapping things up, almost finished with all of the screws. I just have one more to put in on the other side and all brackets are in. I should have just purchased the real countertop from Ikea. It was just under $100. So my final verdict on this is it came out great. It looks like a much more substantial piece of furniture. I hope this video has been helpful to you in some way. And if you like it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And also check out my other DIY videos in my DIY playlist. Man, I cannot wait to use my new countertops for my future recipes. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.